joined by Miles Diffenbach, guard. Miles, it's media day. Yeah. What goes on at media day? Yeah, you know, just trying to, uh, you know, talk to the reporters and, you know, really get our message out to the fans. You know, people are getting pretty excited for the season, you know, trying to give them a little inside look at what's going on, you know, get people ready. How excited are you for the season? I can't wait, personally. You know, you wait uh, all, year long, all year long, really, waiting for this stadium to get filled up by some great fans and come out here and just play your heart out for them. We're at the base of the student section. Take me through what it's like running out of that tunnel when this place is full. I just got the chills really thinking about it. It's like, it really is unbelievable. You got to experience it. I mean, you run out and they're all just there cheering for you, waving those little pom poms on whiteout days. And it's crazy how they're just alive like that the entire game. You know, it's something I've never seen before. Now, Coach O'Brien in the, in the press conference at Media Day talked about how there's eight or nine guys that can really contribute on the offensive line. Having mm -hmm. that depth, how does that help you? It helps a lot. I mean, you know, it's a physical game. People get, people get hurt, people get tired. You got to have people go in. And uh, you got to have depth, you know. That's something that's really important. Two guard positions on the line, right guard, left guard. Mm -hmm. Give me some of the differences between the two. Um, really, I mean, there really isn't much difference. I mean, between us as players or like? How, how you approach the positions. Is there much of a difference? I mean, not really. I mean, it's basically the same thing, just flip it backwards. I mean, so, I mean, we're both, uh, you know, really doing the same things. Talk about the young quarterbacks. Obviously, good command in the huddle from them so far in camp. Yeah. What, what, what are they like? Yeah, I mean, they're both doing a great job, both working hard. You know, I don't really know much about the quarterback position, but they're both, you know, giving it everything they have. They're both vocal and uh, both doing a good job. How do you feel physically heading into this camp? I feel great. You know, Coach Fitz has really prepared us in the offseason very well. You know, we're built up, we're strong, we're fast, we're in good shape, we're ready to go. Coach Mack, what type of coach is he on the field, in the meeting rooms? Do you like playing for him? Yeah, I love playing for Coach Mack. He's really a... Uh, He's a great guy. He's a great teacher. He's a great coach, and uh, he really pushes us as hard as he can. You know, gets the most out of us, sucks it all out of us, and that's something that you really want as a coach. You want to be maxed out with your potential. Now, there are rumors you're a bit of a small film producer. Are they are they true? And talk yeah, about some we, of your success. A couple, a couple of my roommates, we've uh, we've made some uh, short movies during the summer when we're bored. Sometimes we made one. We won an award for Penn State short films. It's no big deal. We climbed Mount Nindy, and uh, it's pretty sweet. Yeah. Talk about a lot of the, these guys say that you're the funniest guy on the team. Well, yeah. Why do they say that? I don't know why they say that. I really don't. They, the, the teammates really don't have that good of humor. That's probably why they think I'm so funny. But uh, I don't know. Just try to keep things alive on the team. You know, you know, camping can become a grind at some point. So you got to keep things loose. And when we're just hanging around and joking around, it's fun to have a little bit of fun. Back on the field, you have from now until August 31st to develop a rapport to get things cohesive on the offensive yeah. line on the offense. What's important about that process to make sure you're prepared for game one? Yeah, I mean, we just really got to, uh, you know, get our assignments down. They're installing new plays every day. We got to gel it in and we got to be an aggressive group up front. We all have to be all working to the same points, all doing the same things and, you know, working hard. Miles, thanks for your time. Good yeah, thank you very you. much.